What's up guys, Blitzer today bringing you another video. The other day we talked about the possibility of a definitive edition of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1 coming out. Now again, this is just a rumor and speculation towards unverified leaks. You guys seem to love the idea and today I kind of want to return back to that and talk about a few more things. With these kinds of re-releases, they are deemed sort of like an upgrade over the original release. In addition to DLC being added and more story content, there very well could be even more gameplay tweaks or updates too. I mean, considering this would be a definitive release of some sort, you kind of would love for them to improve or add more mechanics to the game, which would help the player enjoy it a little bit more. Am I right? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the top changes or additions I would love to see in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1, Definitive Edition. Now again guys, this is just for fun, I don't think these are for sure 100% going to be coming to the game, or even if the Definitive Edition release will be a thing. But these are some ideas I hope they consider for the future release. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these and what you would love to see in the upgraded version. I'm linking in the description below our major remake part 2 changes, you guys need to definitely check that out if you haven't already. Now with all that being said, let's get into the video! Now it goes without saying that everyone who has played Final Fantasy VII Remake has complained or acknowledged this one, no matter how much you love or hate the game. So we won't linger on it too long, but fix textures and improve frame rates to be consistent 60 frames per second. The biggest initial complaint about Final Fantasy VII Remake was that the textures and certain background skyboxes of certain chapters were just flat out not great quality when compared with the rest of the game. I personally believe these were purposely limited to keep the game running at a smooth 30 FPS. I honestly don't really recall this game ever dipping below 30 frames, at least nothing too crazy noticeable or memorable for me. But for a definitive edition, we the fans can all agree we'd love to see some of those textures be fixed and of course for us to get 60 frames per second. This clip right here is from another YouTuber by the name of Valkyrie. He's using an editing plugin called Twixstore to create a 60 frames per second imaging of Remake Part 1. So I would hope that the definitive release and of course Remake Part 2 comes to us with 60 frames per second ready out the box and with great textures to go on top of that. We the fans definitely deserve that. And up next, I would love to get some of those extra chapters or solo character DLC missions. Final Fantasy XV had these episodes for each characters which give more insight and gameplay to them. And I figured, what the hell, FF7 has some of the best and most loved characters throughout the entire series. More expanded story and dialogue in these missions can really floor the fans. Between Tifa, Aerith, Barret, there are a lot of scenarios in the game that we could get. One example is when Tifa and Barret escape Sector 5 after Cloud falls from the reactor. We could follow their adventure to get back to Sector 7, but along the way Tifa comes across and fights Rude for the first time. During their encounter, Rude gets a call from Reno, saying he is injured and that Rude needs to catch up and find Cloud. Tifa hears this information about Cloud being alive and is ecstatic when she sees him in Chapter 9. We could also get some maybe origin story as to seeing Rude's crush for Tifa developing for his hand. This would also allow us to explore other parts of Midgar, especially the Upper Plate. During Barrett's solo mission or DLC, maybe we could see what the basement under 7th Heaven looks like, since it was cut from the game originally. While also seeing what Barrett did during chapters 3 and also between chapters 8 to 11, following him and Avalanche gathering intel on Don Corneo and then battling Shinra and the Turks up on the plate. Aerith could be a bunch of things. We could get footage after chapter 2 to 7 when she runs away from Cloud, which would give some backstory on her running away from the Whispers and eventually understanding what they could be. Or it could be her being trapped in Shinra between chapters 12 to 15. Let me know what you guys think about this. And honestly, the next big thing they should add to this game is an explanation as to why only 30.2% of you guys that currently watch these videos are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button right now before Don Corneo sits on your face and rides you like a gold chocobo through some rough terrain. But seriously guys, hit that subscribe button, it's totally free, helps me out a ton and you gain an entry to our two giveaways we have going on. We are giving away channel exclusive merch and one free video game of your choice. And then the next big one is a PlayStation 5. Don't miss out on a PS5 just because you did not take one second to hit that subscribe button. Remember, this is free guys, hit that subscribe button one time. Okay, now back to the video. I've been asking for this one for quite a while, but extra training room content would keep us going strong on the streams for sure. From boss rushes to new challenges entirely featuring scenario missions, they could do a whole lot with the training rooms, which I hope they do going forward, not just for the definitive edition, but for the series Final Fantasy VII Remake as a whole. 
This next one is definitely far-fetched and desperate, which I will admit, but I really cannot wait for Remake Part 2 to finally see this. But I do hope we get a chance to play as Red 13 or get some insight as to how he will play. This could be done with showing us how Shinra captured him and maybe showcase his multiple attempts at escaping. There could be so much they could do to showcase this to us, but I imagine they'd save all this entirely for Remake Part 2 if we do get any flashback sequences for Red 13. I already know the PC community will have our back on this one, but more skins and mods being a thing. There are current modding programs which we can see Tifa and Aerith with dresses in the cutscenes, but in the gameplay they revert back to their default skins, albeit in a very cool animation, I can't lie. But even if these were DLC, I'm sure there is a market for people, like myself, who would buy these. But PC release would almost guarantee that we would see some iconic outfits return, such as the Advent Children gear with the fusion sword for Cloud. This next one is just to satisfy the challenger or daredevil inside of me, but adding another difficulty other than hard mode while also making classic mode able to access hard mode instead of always being easy. In Definitive Edition, if they added another difficulty for us to mess around with, I think that could provide a whole another playthrough for many of us. Also gives us plenty of challenges with it expanding more on what hard mode throws at us already, while also changing up drastically how certain enemies work. In Remake Part 1, the Guard Scorpion's tail laser strikes twice on hard mode compared to the one time that it does on normal mode. But more instances like this would be ideal in my opinion. This next one I've already mentioned in an earlier video, but I haven't seen other people talking about this, and that is to remove the L2 function to change map and compass. They should honestly make this instead give us access to even more shortcuts or abilities. In my opinion, the L2 change map to compass feature should be a menu accessible thing, whereas the L2 button should instead allow us to use more abilities like how L1 does, which would provide for more combat variety for many of us who use this like myself. This next one I was wondering about for quite some time, but why is it that in Final Fantasy VII Remake we only have 6 weapons and there is one full on slot for a 7th weapon? For definitive release, I'd love for them to give us a new 7th weapon for every character. This could also give us another core to buff characters with, with extra stats which could also benefit us on a harder difficulty. Also, I mean, this is Final Fantasy VII, so it feels kind of weird that we decided to stop at 6 weapons instead of 7. I don't know, am I the only one bothered by this? I mean, why is there a full entire slot for this? <laughs> My biggest want for Final Fantasy VII Remake of all time would be possible co-op features for training room or even story mode. I've talked to you guys' ears off about this in many, many videos, but we will breeze by this really quickly. This would only work in chapters where there are more than one party member present, or straight up just a training mode feature that's optional for us to access. I would just love to set up some crazy team combos with you guys or do some boss challenging videos as well. Seriously, this could be super fun if they added that in. And finally, I'd love to see them add more ATB bars to the combat. The combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake is so fluid that two ATB bars does already feel very good. However, after unlocking and using Refocus Materia, which gives us one extra ATB bar totaling at three, the combat seriously jumps to a whole other level. You do have to select Refocus from your Limit Break once it is active, which is the catch though. But when you toss skill master materia and ATB assist in order to build up your ATB faster, you can really get some creative things rolling. Unfortunately, due to refocus being tied to your limit break and the way that limit breaks work in Final Fantasy VII Remake, it does not come up quite often, at least organically. We have a build on the channel. Click on it on the top right. It's called the Instant Limit Break Build, where you self-destruct to get an instant limit break as long as you hit one or two enemies. This makes refocus and limit breaks easily accessible in every regular fight and not just long boss battles. More ATB could benefit us all. And if they were able to add another difficulty to the game, this would just help us out a tad bit more. And that wraps it up for this video guys. What did you guys think about these suggestions for Remake Definitive Edition? Let me know in the comments below so let's get a discussion going. Remember, this is all just for fun, it's all speculation. A lot of these two I prefer them to be in Remake Part 2 whenever that comes out. But if they did throw them into a possible definitive release, I mean, how could I say no to that? Next Gen is here guys, tomorrow I will be making videos about the PS5. So be on the lookout for that and of course when we finally stream some Next Gen games later that night. Be sure to join and become a member today to increase your chances at winning a PS5 soon. Being a subscriber gets you one entry to the giveaway, but a membership gives you multiple entries to the giveaway, so don't miss out on that. Once I get my hands on another PS5, we will be sending that one to a lucky subscriber or member. I'm rooting for you all. Also, being a member gets you video shoutouts on every video just like this and a materia icon next to your name in the comments and access to our channel exclusive emojis. So shout out to you guys that are currently subscribed to the memberships. You guys are the real MVPs and I'm super thankful for each and every single one of you all. 
Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy VII Remake videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.